YouTube, Devil92 here, back again once again today, people. Today, we're here for episode number 89, I do believe, of our Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Let's Play. In the last episode, you guys, we made it here to Ula Ula Island, and we flew to the Ruins of Abundance to capture my boy, Tapu Bulu. We also ended up completing the side quest down at 30 Mega Mart with a reporter that wanted to interview Tapu Bulu. In today's episode, we have one additional side quest at the Pony Breaker Coast, and on Pony Island, we are hunting our final... Tapu being Tapu Fini. So if you guys are hyped for today's episode, and of course if you want to show your support as a private of the Nappy Nation, make sure to hit the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Now, super quick team recap for you guys. We're 89 episodes in. If you don't know the squad by now, something's wrong with you. Up first, we have Anita, our Komala at level 63 with the Amulet coin. Bradshaw, the man of the squad, our Incineroar at level 67 with the charcoal. Did I say charcoal? Amulet coin, charcoal, lit. Shukaku, our Palisand, level 67 on the spell tag. Then we have Yolanda, our lone executor, level 66 with the Miracle Seed. Bubble Buddy, our Rakunin at 68 with the Water MZ. And last but not least, we have my boy, Redacted, our Dusk Main Necrozma. I Every single time I want to say Soul Galeo, what the fuck? Uh, but he's level 70 with the leftovers. I want to say with the Prism Armor, with the leftovers. So, without any further ado, let us skedaddle. Let us skedaddle. Let us skedaddle. Let us skedaddle. So I told you guys, I mention this every episode, or I feel like I've mentioned it every single episode so far, but we're at the Ruins of Hope. Ruins of Hope is the last one. I thought that was going to be Tapu Lele's one. But I told you guys that I had a list. Uh, I wrote down, I organized the rest of the LP for Ultras on Ultra Moon. If you guys can see the pink at the top, that's, that's those are the Tapus. But I crossed them off as we go. We got four. We got four crossed off because, you know, this is the fourth one. Um, but trust me, I like I said, from time to time, some episodes are going to be shorter than others. I know these Tapu episodes, actually these Tapu episodes have been about the length of a regular episode because we're catching these bitches and they don't want to get the fucking ball. But some of these episodes may not be the length of a regular episode, but I guarantee you next episode is episode number 90. And you guys know every 10th episode in this series is an hour of power. And I plan that out specifically as well as episode 100 as well. Oh, spoilers. Spoilers. We're going to make it to 100. Spoilers. Spoilers, dog. I'm tired of this nigga Rotom asking me questions. Leave me be. Actually, wait. Swerve curve. Nigga, there is no challenge to that. What the fuck are you supposed to do there? Okay, so there's side quest I want to knock out real quick. Look at us styling and fucking profiling and our goddamn Komo'o armor. Holy shit, dog. Your boy is too clean. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think there is these ladies right here who we need to speak to. Hi there! Yes, you! We're the Hidden Maidens! See, we're like, here in Alola for a shoot. But we're taking all the shots ourselves. We don't have a cameraman. Like, we don't have an agent or anyone to help us, but we're gonna be big someday soon. That's why we need your help, stranger! We need shots for our PV! A promotional video for our work! We were thinking, like, maybe a multi-battle. This be this big, bad trainer who is so, so mean to the poor hidden maidens. And we'd be all cute and like, oh no! So could you take us on in a multi-battle? Why is the first answer, no way? Why does it load you up with, no way? Sure. Yes! I, like, totally love you right now. Let's do it. Okay, scene one. The hidden maidens run into some trouble at the beach. And... Action! Dog, why did Game Freak code Yas in the game? Does anyone know why they. Kylie and Ashlyn. Hmm. Hmm. They, co they coded Yas into the game. Uh, for some reason, I thought they had a cloister. No pun intended. But Aluminion? I do not remember that. I do not remember Aluminion. Okay, so we got my boy on the field here. This is gonna be return test number 6,766. I'm not even gonna swap my dude out. I'm not even swapping my dude out. We're thunder punching the life out of this Luminion, dog. Nigga, why do you outspeed? You know, literally the only reason I left Bradshaw in 
that did nothing. Holy shit, Luminion is trash. Luminion is some cheeks, my nigga. What is Luminion's stats? Like, what is Luminion actually rocking with? Did I actually just kill that Luminion with a Thunder Punch too? Jesus Christ, this mon is trash. It has 460 base stats. How? What are you? What, what are you doing? Look at that return test. Mmm, delicious. Luminion is base 69 HP. Trash. Base 76 defense. Trash. Its attack and special attack are both 69. Terrible. Its highest stat is its special defense. No, its highest stat is its speed at 91. Oh, so that's why it outsped. I was going to say, this doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. The waves recede, blown away by the waterfall. Oh my god. So will I make it back for the sequel? Hmm? Hmm? That's, that is the real hard-hitting questions. That's a cut! That was so savage! We're gonna have the best photos! We really owe you this time. Here, take this as, like, your reward. Use them every day and think of us. The HMs! Oh, I get it! The Hidden Maidens! Dog. Lit. I get it. It's punny! It's so fucking punny! We call these hidden machines where we're from, get it? Truth is, we've got our own hidden sides, yeah? Maybe we're like high-key stars, but we're low-key HM makers. No, seriously, we make hidden machines. <laughs> we deal drugs, okay? Seriously, if you need some, come hit me up. Yeah, we're like the national treasures back in the Kalos region because of our HM skills, but there's no money to be made in making HMs. You can't even sell them. But we heard that people don't need HMs here in Alola, so we figured, like, maybe we could sell them here as our regular old TMs, right? And we thought we could sell tons of them if we market them ourselves since we're so cute. Surf and Waterfall are su both super strong TMs. You should like at least try teaching them to one of your water Pokemon pals. It'll be savage. Thanks again for your help. You better stay our fan. Don't forget your hidden maidens. She said it'll be savage. Dog. What? Okay, so I want to check real quick. Waterfall is base 80. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking it was base 90. But liquidation is base 85. Ah, ah, okay. So liquidation is stronger than waterfall. So the only benefit to running waterfall would be the chance to flinch. The only benefit to running waterfall would be the chance to flinch. You know, I was gonna use a full restore now. Do we have anything else? You know what? This is our last one. This is our last one. That means I'm gonna have eight full restorers to do the damn thing with. Eight of these bitches to do the damn thing with. But my question is, wait. Let me check my Pokeballs as well. I'm pretty sure we have Ultra Balls. Where the fuck are my Pokeballs at, dog? Yeah, we got this. Okay, but my question is, who do I have that can just tank hits from this thing? Because, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be Bradshaw. Anita's out of the question. Can Bubble Buddy tank hits? Or Water Fairy? Um, maybe? Maybe? Redacted? I don't know, we'll see. But, I haven't forgotten. Third time's the charm. I'm going to save my game, because only you can prevent lost save data. I'm going to save my game, and... And, 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 this nigga is slumped again. I woke him up before this episode. I was going to say, and I'm going to use the Roto Catch Power for the last part of our experiment. Oh, the other thing I was going to say is these bitches just said they make HMs, but we're going to sell them as TMs. Plot holes! Plot holes! Everywhere! That doesn't make any sense. How can you just decide to sell them as TMs? So why don't you just take your little skanky ass back to the Kalos region, sell them bitches as TMs, because you can't sell HMs, apparently. But I have to use Roto Catch in battle. Okay, 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 Reach out and touch the statue. Top. Poo. Fee! Yeah. 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 Okay. Actually... 700th time the charm. We're gonna quick ball at first and then use Roto Catch. So peep. Peep the skills. Peep game, nigga. Peep.
peep the skills, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Where are my quick balls at? Where are my quick ball at? Turn one. Turn one, quick ball. Survey says. Trash. Trash. I'm selling all my quick balls. I'm selling all my quick balls. They're not worth it. They're not worth it. 100% not worth it. All right, Anita, can you outspeed and hit him with this return? This return test? Aqua ring? Oh, you're going to be this annoying. We already went through this with Tapu Bulu, my nigga. Oh, you so bulky. Oh, you so bulky. So it should live another. Oh, shit. Anita just ate that up. In the red, in the red. Is that a max roll? Is that what just happened? We just got a max roll? How the fuck do we eat the hydro pump? But our second return, which only did 51% last time. Maybe, maybe it's health was at 51% exactly. Maybe that's what happened. Hmm. 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 Okay, so I'm going back to the last video. Because there were a ton of comments. I can't see any of the comments now. LR and start at the same time as soft reset. Lit. Look at that. Look at that. That's just shout out to all of you guys. Shout out to all of you guys for coming through with the shits. It's much faster. It's much faster. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you save your game. Because you want to save your game before any stupid shit happens. Before any stupid shit goes down. And lo and behold, some stupid shit went down. Lit. Okay, so, the return test is successful. We haven't had a chance to test the roto catch. Quick balls, out the window. I'm going to try it again, though. I'll try it again, though. I wish I could go into the battle with the roto catch and then use the quick ball. Would that be guaranteed? Would that be guaranteed? Huh? So, what makes no sense to me, and again, this, this goes in the theory of, yo, Pokeball, different type of Pokeballs are trash. Is a quick ball supposed to have a higher chance of catching? It's oh, times four on the first try. First turn of battle is supposed to be times four, right? Right? But, this Pokemon's at full. So, then the question becomes... Is it, used, is it meant to be used specifically for lower level mods? Thought we ate a Hydro Pump. This Money Water ain't doing shit, dog. Because there's no way in hell... There's no way in hell that you can sit here and expect to... Quick ball, a legend like this, from full. Turn one. Which doesn't make any sense. Jesus Christ, Anita, you are so fucking hench. Holy shit. I'm not gonna let Anita die. Return is taking enough damage. Um, I feel like I could go out to Yolanda. Yo, Yolanda's actually perfect for this because it's only fairy type move is Nature's Madness. Didn't it was Tapu Lele that had Moonblast. But, I'm pretty sure, we, what have we seen? We've seen Aqua Ring, Hydro Pump, Muddy Water, Nature's Madness. Yeah. So, Muddy Water and Hydro Pump, we quad resist. Aqua Ring, I don't care about. Nature's Madness only does half. It's Liddy. It's Liddy. So, come on, Tabu Fini. Cut this shit out. How am I supposed to damage you? How am I actually supposed to damage... <laughs> I can't sludge bomb, that'll be super effective. Energy ball is super effective. I have to flamethrower, which is gonna do nothing, because this thing is bulky as fuck. It's not stab, and it's resist. Look at that. Look at that. Shout out to everyone that wanted Yolanda off the squad. Look at her, putting in work right now, helping us catch this legendary Pokemon. Y'all don't understand. People worship these niggas. Worship as deities on these islands. And Yolanda's here standing tall. No pun intended. Standing tall. Dog, it's lit. No! The Aqua Ring will offset the burn? I think it will. I think it heals more from Aqua Ring than it burns. But you know what? Yo, this works. This works. This works. Can I catch you in a Luxury Ball? 
Do we have an aqua ball? A net ball. Bug or water type Pokemon. Okay, it's burned, it's in the red, and I got a ball that's made specifically for catching this nigga right here. In that bitch. Lay it! That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! In the roto catch! Yo, it was impossible for it to break out. In the red, weakened, status effect, roto catch power. And I used a ball that was super effective on water type mods. Super effective made for catch water type mods. See, that's what I'm talking about. I love that. That is dope. That makes me feel like I just accomplished something. I feel good inside. Lit. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Another land spirit Pokemon. This guardian deity of Pony Island manipulates water. Because it lives deep in a thick fog, it came to be both feared and revered. Why are you living in a fog? Why are you living in a fog? Okay, so I don't know what a good nickname for Tapu Fini is. I don't have a Tapu Fini nickname. So, hmm. Hmm. Should I name it Ursula? After that thick bitch from The Little Mermaid? Hmm. 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 I'm actually struggling. What is a good nickname for Tapu Fini? Something oceanic. What if I just named her Pacifica? I mean, I know that's a car. But it's like, she's in the Pacific Ocean. And... Pacifica kind of makes it feminine, I guess? I guess? I mean... She doesn't have a gender, does she? I don't know. If the top would have genders or not. And I know it's 2018, she can be whatever she wants to be. But at the same time, it's like, uh... I don't know. I just don't know how to feel about it. I just don't know how to feel about it. This nigga said, do you want to check the bag? You might have some healing items. Don't worry, nigga. You are a dex. I am the trainer. I'm the trainer. Damn it. All right. Give me the fuck out of here, Doug. Give me the frick frack fuck out of here, Doug. We need to check out this thick bitch we just captured. Slide through, doggy. Ha ha. Ha ha. My boy landed with them purple sneaks on. Sound like you run up and down a basketball court. I definitely need to get some more full restores though. She says morning champ. I love it. I definitely need to get some more full restores though. That is on the list of things to do. We hope to see you again. Alright, Dougie Doug. What do we got here? All of our tapus. It's modest! How did we eat up that hydro pump? That should have okoed Anita. What the fuck? Yo, Anita, you are God. That's the best nature we've gotten. Actually, a lot of people were confused uh, with Adamant Tapu Coco. Um, Adamant, it, it, a little, little, little. Tapu Coco's attack stat is higher than its special attack stat, but its move pool is more beneficial to be special attacking than physical attacking. It is possible to run a mixed one, it is possible to run a physical one, but it's just better to run a, the special one. Tapu Lele is all out special attacker. This nigga is all out physical attacker. I think Naughty increases attack. So that's not a terrible nature. This nigga is so fucking hench, dog. Look at this. Highest stat here is 170. Highest stat here is 179. Highest stat here is 179 as well. Highest stat here is 196. This nigga just hits like a truck, dog. Mm. But we are. Pacifica is here. Modest, Nature's Madness, Muddy Water, Aquaring, Hydro Pump. Okay, so I know what all these do. What does Misty Surge do? Turns the ground into Misty Terrain when the Pokemon... Okay, but what does Misty Terrain do? I know what all the rest of them does. I'm trying to learn something new here, Pokemon. And you're, 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 not, you're not helping here. You're not helping. Misty Terrain. Envelops the field and replaces the background. It prevents affected Pokemon from being afflicted by 
non-volatile status conditions. If a Pokemon is drowsy, the yawn is prevented from falling asleep. Rest will fail. It has the power of Dragon type moves. Oh. And Generation Seven Pokemon affected by Mystery Terrain can no longer become confused. Hmm. If powered up by Ethereum Z into Z Misty Terrain, the move itself, not just the ability, the user's special defense stat rises by one stage. Ah. Oh. So I was gonna say, I know what Electric Surge does. That's that's what it's called, right? Yeah, I know what Electric Surge does. I know what Psychic Surge does. I know what Grassy Surge is. I just wasn't sure what Misty Surge is. But our hunt has finally come to an end. We have captured all four of the Tapus. We now have a new objective, a new new sites. We have new things, a new object, new new. I, I don't know what I'm saying. We got shit to do, Doug. Basically, is what I'm trying to get across. We got shit to do. So I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode here. I need to. I'm gonna use this Roto Bargain because I have so many fucking many of them and I need to get some full restores. Um, but, we're gonna wrap today's episode here. I'm gonna stand these full restores. We have like eight things to do on Melee Melee. And like I said, I don't mean like we're gonna go find some items. We have like actual cutscene events that we need to go and do on Melee Melee. So, next episode is gonna be jam packed full of shit to do on Melee Melee Island. But, oh, dog, it actually does, Leo. Like, this Roto shit. It's lit as fuck, dog. Just yo, just empty my fucking bag, dog. I got 138. We'll get some money again here very, very soon. Don't you guys stress. Don't you guys stress. Don't fret over it. But I'm gonna fly to Melee Melee in preparation for the next episode. Next episode will in fact be an hour of power. God damn it. And we got plenty of things to do. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode and you enjoyed our final topping hunt. And of course, we're going to show your support as a proud member of the Mappy Nation. Make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. But until next time, thank you all once again for your support and thank you for checking the video. We are Audi 5 Jillian. Bye!